Welcome to Titan Sports Time. I'm Mike Parsons, Manager of Athletic Communications, and today I'm joined by softball player Ronis Farrow. Welcome to the show, Ronis. Hi, thank you for having me. Well, Ronis had a huge grand slam against the number three team in the country, College of Central Florida, giving us a 5-4 win. Ronis, talk about that. When did you kind of get a feeling that you were going to be a part of this game? Well, uh, top of the fifth, Coach Pat came to me and he told me that I should get loose and, you know, take a couple swings and just in case something like that could actually happen. So I went outside the dugout, took a few swings or what's not, and came back in and I heard we were rallying, so that kind of got me hype as well. So when it came to the sixth inning, two outs, and Coach came and said, number three, as he always does, and that's when I grabbed my helmet, went outside, and mentally prepared myself because bases were loaded. I also wasn't playing, and as a pinch hitter, you have a job to do. So my main focus was getting the job done. So then you're at the plate, you have a one-two count. What are you kind of looking for at that point? I'm looking for a pitch that I can hit over the fence, of course, but also to stay disciplined at the same time. And I shouldn't, when I got in the box, I can't admit I wasn't disciplined, but as I took a few couple swings and I, I came to myself and I realized like the situation, I have runners on and I need to get the job done. So I was, I mentally prepared myself and I just said, use your hips. I just told myself to use your hips. So I went back in the box, tried to implement everything I just told myself to do and I hit, hit a grand slam. And when did you kind of know that it was gone? Was it off the bat? Were you heading to first? Uh, heading to first, I thought it was going to. I mean, I always, I'm not going to, I wasn't anticipating to hit a home right. grand slam, of course. But off the bat, yeah, it, it was gone. <laughs> and talk about that kind of celebration as you're rounding third and heading home and you see all the, all the girls there at the plate. Uh, that was, I'm still in awe. <laughs> to be honest with you, I'm still in awe. I can't believe I actually hit a grand slam and got the job done as I was supposed to. Talk about how did you get into softball? Well, I actually started softball back when I used to live in St. Thomas in sixth grade. My, soft, my teacher at the time came to me and told me that I should start, I should try out for softball, you know, it could be something good for me. And I did, and I ended up liking it. And she also, she had a little league team at the time and also told me I should try out for that and ended up liking that as well. So at the time I was doing both softball and baseball, but it took me to where I am now. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. You can catch the softball team all season at EFSCTitans.com. We'll see you next time.